perhaps the most anticipated electric motorbike to be put into production is now a fully functioning prototype. The Triumph TE1 project has ended phase 3 and the result is this beauty. This prototype demonstrator will now move the project on to phase 4, where over the next 6 months the bike will be fine tuned and developed in live testing on track to arrive at final settings and refinements for the production model, which will then have its final body panels and paint scheme added before being presented to the world's media towards the end of the summer. But what do we know about the TE1 so far? Hello and welcome to Moto Chatter, let's dive into the details of the Triumph TE1 project prototype. The Triumph TE1 project is a collaboration between Triumph Motorcycles, Williams Advanced Engineering, yes the same Williams as the F1 team, Integral Powertrain Limited and WMG University of Warwick. The aim of the project is to create groundbreaking development in specialist electric motorcycle engineering and integrated technology systems. WMG University of Warwick have been responsible for simulation testing of the concept and systems integration even before any part was built. Integral Powertrain Limited, as the name gives away, are responsible for the motor inverter, with the focus on lightweight, performance and range. What they came up with is a motor inverter which is lighter and more compact than any other currently available. It produces 14 kilowatts per kilogram, which is almost double the target set by the Automotive Council for 2025. To put that into perspective, it's the equivalent of a 180 horsepower engine that weighs just 10 kilos. Williams Advanced Engineering have been responsible for the battery and control unit, again focusing on lightweight, performance and range. The battery is designed to give high output even on a low charge as well as give unrivaled range and performance. They have gone so far as to describe the developments made in energy density of the new battery as a quantum leap for existing technology, meaning more power for longer, which has to be a good thing. The battery casing also forms part of the structure of the bike and a first with the TE1 is that the electronic control unit combines both the battery management system and the bike control functions in the same unit. This helps with packaging of the bike and improves the centre of gravity and ultimately performance. Triumph's responsibility is to bring all these innovations together into an electric motorbike which is desirable in its own right and it looks like they are on the right track, with its stripped back sports roaster style and stance which is easily recognisable as part of the speed triple family with the angry looking twin headlights and overall silhouette. There is the single sided swing arm, Brembo brakes and all in suspension and although it is clearly a triumph it has its own distinct features, most notably the Williams logo on the carbon battery casings and the structural and architectural design of the frame beams. The tank, that is not a tank, mimics the lines of the backbone of the chassis to create that familiar yet distinctive silhouette. It is also where the charging socket is located and opens up to provide access, a very tidy solution. The rear lights are deeply integrated into the tail of the bike, helping keep the look clean. And although the overall look of the prototype is helped by the lack of mirrors, which will no doubt house the indicators, from where I'm standing, it looks a very impressive motorbike rather than an impressive electric motorbike. I like that the motor and power cables are integrated well but not completely hidden away, substituting aesthetically for an engine and hoses. The TE1 has a final belt drive which is something new on a Triumph Roadster but there is a familiar looking radiator taking care of the cooling and even though it is all electric it manages to pull off the trick of looking mechanical. Triumph say that the TE1 will form the platform for future electric bikes and perhaps with the introduction of this TE1 prototype maybe we can be cautiously optimistic about the future of electric Triumphs. Triumph along with the other partners have come together to advance battery and most technology for this bike, with their focus clearly on performance and with the aim of building a bike that bikers actually want to ride. This is the first boundary pushing performance focused electric bike from an established motorbike manufacturer and it looks very promising indeed. We should see the finished product at the end of the summer and this is one electric bike that has seriously piqued my interest. We will have to wait and see exactly how far the boundaries in range and performance have been pushed, but I have a feeling that this electric motorbike is going to deliver something special. But those are my thoughts, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Does the Triumph TE1 whet your appetite and is it a bike that you could see yourself riding? I hope you enjoyed this look into the Triumph TE1 prototype, if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for plenty more motorcycle videos to come. You can click the links on screen for more now and some other interesting electric bikes but whatever you do have a great day and thanks for watching.